What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and we're going to do some space news for you tonight. It's been a little while. Um, I have a couple articles here for you. I'm not going to be here this weekend, but once I get back, I'm finally going to have some time to knock out a whole bunch of anomaly videos. I've been really uh, slacking on getting the videos out lately, but my guy, my subscribers are stuck with me. Much love to you all. This weekend, we're doing a jam fest. I hold. If you guys are followers and been watching for a while, uh, you know I do this every year. My buddy Mikey Jones passed away. Uh, he was a best friend of mine. We started our first band called Energy Field together. A lot of you, I don't know if you know, I'm a guitar player and a singer. And uh, basically, every when he died, he just graduated from uh, Loyola University with his music degree down in New Orleans. So what we did was we put together a, a scholarship, and we've now got it endowed. We've, uh, I think we've raised about eight, raised eighty-five thousand dollars so far endowed scholarship. So we hold this jam fest where all of his friends, all of new people come um, each year. It's in Chestertown, Maryland. Uh, we provide food and uh, just a good atmosphere right on the water. It's supposed to be beautiful. It's August eighth. At uh, 2 p.m. Chestertown, Maryland. It's MikeyJonesMemorial.com with two E's. I'll link it in the description. If you're anywhere in Maryland or Delaware or uh, Pennsylvania, you might be pretty close drive to come on up. Virginia as well. So uh, you guys are all invited. All right. So anybody, let's go get back to space here. Uh, a lot of stuff been going on when it comes to uh, politics, politics, politics here in the United States. So. And you know me, I can't stand that stuff anymore. I used to be uh, really hardcore for Ron Paul, I, just because I just was into a, a peace person. Something somebody didn't want to use the military to control the world. But this, this, this t subject right here, uh, Chris Rooney and I talked about this. He has a uh, the Mars Anomaly channel here on, on Facebook, or on Facebook, YouTube, uh, on both. He's uh, He's a, a radio enthusiast himself, and we talked about how we've got so many people coming by now, and the new thing is like the International Space Station is fake. It's not real. It's not there. Or what you do see, because when you can see it, it's got flyover times, and I've caught it many times, uh, especially from here in Ocean City. I've laid down on the beach and watched it come by a couple times. But uh, the, the actual amateur radio enthusiast uh, contacted it. He built his own radio, and the guy's name was, uh, let's see here, who's this guy's name? He's going to come up here in a second, but he's from the England's West Country. It's Adrian Lane is his name, and he put it together, and he got to speak to him for like uh, four, I think it was like a four-minute window and had a little bit of a conversation with him. He asked him about the stars, and he said that the stars, uh, what do they look like? And he said, it's nothing but black out there. You can't see them. Because there's no atmosphere so basically uh but he said they said when you look down you can see this bright beautiful earth and if this will actually work Fly the feed from him here we go part of the world, uh, more than 300 what he has to kilometers say. above it's very quick He's patiently so. sending out the signal the tiny window of time to the speeding space station he told us about the response he got from the den where he made the call I, I just uh, called the International Space Station and an astronaut came back to me and said, uh, 2E0 SDR, welcome aboard the International Space Station. I asked him how the stars even looked from up there. Do they look different? And he said they did because there's no atmosphere up there. Um, everything's black bar the stars. He said, until we looked down on Earth, Adrian, he said, which is just literally a mass of color. <laughs> I was quite ecstatic. I ran into the house and I said to the wife, I've cracked it. I love that. He ran into the wife and said he cracked it. Uh, it's pretty neat how he did it. He uh, had to get permission from the British Broadcasting Authority, and he checked with NASA to see if he could do it. So it is up there, unless, uh, at least said, maybe he's a scam artist, too. I don't know. You know some of the people who come, and uh, once you start believing into some theories, it's hard to get out of them. Um, I had to change my mind so many times in the whole anomaly world and have to keep – really, it's not even changing your mind. Keeping an open in mind and adjusting with what – information you feel is legit and what's not for me iss absolutely exists it's rolling up over us right now um and as we move as we go on here all right this is kind of cool nasa just put out this software and i thought it was going to be cooler from reading about it and reading their website i thought it was going to be really neat and check it out It'd kind of be like midnight planets and really all this is is it's kind of a it's really kind of a joke compared to midnight planets midnight planets you can actually find 
these uh, images, go to the image, go to the actual image page, pull it up. But this, uh, let me read a little bit of this to you. It's, uh, you no longer have to enlist the Mars One mission to explore the red planet. Basically, you don't have to go to Mars to get up there. NASA unveiled this week a new simulation called Mars Trek. It lets anybody with an internet connection journey through Mars. The program was launched in time to celebrate the three-year anniversary of Curiosity's Mars landing. All right, it's similar to Google Earth. The web-based application will let the public access high-quality visualizations of the planet review over 50 years of Mars data. So, along with it right now, so I was thinking, oh, man, we're going to get these all high, really high-tech views of it. And when I got on it, here it is right here. Um, it, it's kind of clunky. You can, you've only got three panorama places, and you can you can select some places for it to drive. And when you get there, um, you can select the camera down here in the bottom right, and you can watch itself drive. And that's looking, that's using the actual cams. Apparently, it is. And you can go through and see here. See if I can scroll through the different cams. Let's let's look for a mass cam. Here we go, mass cam right, mass cam left. All right. So, and this is the this was from what what saw. I think this was right around saw. 908 where they did a drilling and as you can kind of see around it uh, you can play a little bit with these over here you could control the rover arms and such and, and do some interesting I mean I don't know <laughs> who would sit and play with this or do this or why we spent money on software how much the software time took to make this but this is definitely not uh, you know Whale Rock's story is as epic as the mammal for which it is named. This rock shows a classic example of what we call crossbedding in the layers that make up the rock. Crossbedding is like a snapshot frozen in time of the waves you of get sand the little audio in the water, background. layered on top They've of They've got a couple of them. I guess these are the... Pahrump uh... Hills is where we got our first taste of a Martian mountain. Curiosity arrived at Pahrump Hills in September 2014. After a five yeah, and a so half I guess we're going to listen to him now. <laughs> Either way, we went so you get a, a little picture of it. They tell a story. Um, oh, this is that the little kind of rock, rock right there, that, that nice the long one. But you don't get a, uh, you After don't get much more than sample, that. You can't actually pull up the individual the images area. like I thought In you would. So here's where you go to the free drive. This neat. I'll link it up there so you go check it out. Now, what I thought was kind of neat is in the link drive you can see up in the corner there where all of our buildings i think are and a lot of us think there were i think there used to be really running water down here and uh this looks like a you know a ramp way that goes up through buildings that's the area that we're looking at and they kept that in there i thought that was pretty interesting but uh it's not really high quality you don't get to see the actual images all you see are um these real kind of low res as you go through it it almost looks like the 3d it's basically a 3d created world it makes you wonder is that how the whole mission is i love that hate god i would hate for that to be it if that was the case but i do think that the rovers are on mars it's another thing i'm not i haven't i don't think they're on an island somewhere devon island or they're out in the, the Nevada desert i do think that they're on mars um I think there's definitely enough evidence you can see from our uh, satellites and tracking it. But all right, now I want to talk a little bit about Cirrus here because Cirrus, uh, we've been waiting for some information about it. And I just thought that NASA just put out a little video we're going to watch here in a second about it. And it's a creepy kind of video, how what the guy says in it. And uh, it just alludes to the mysterious and the alien planet. But. I noticed that, I mean, Dawn had some amazing stuff going on with, I mean, some of the most interesting traffic that's come to NASA in a while. And it used to be right here on the front page, you know, it was Dawn to Cirrus. And now they've only got New Horizons to Pluto, Kepler, International Space Station, Curiosity, and Hubble. I mean... I thought that was just kind of a weird that they took that off there since it's such a big mission going on and it's about to go and drop to the third orbit it's just most likely there by now um, taking pictures I'd imagine but we'll see what we get back we're supposed to be getting pictures back here sometime in August and then you got to go find it down it doesn't even say dawn to Cirrus it was at you know I think it was at best the first but and then you bring it up and uh we're going to watch the video here, which is uh, this Washington Post article here talks about it. NASA orbiter cruises over dwarf planet. Cirrus films bright spots and pyramid. And uh, it talks a little bit about it. I'm going to go ahead and we'll watch it just so you don't have to go watch it real fast. I do believe that this is a fair 
fair use from NASA. We can use all their stuff. Let me turn it on up. This is Dwarf Planet Series, a mysterious world of rock and ice. How can you not be mesmerized by those glowing spots? We'll see those again in a moment, along with some other amazing sights on this fascinating alien world, revealed by the Dawn spacecraft now in orbit there. And get your 3D glasses ready. Here we're taking a little tour around a 60-mile diameter crater named Okator, a Roman agricultural deity. Look it's two miles deep, and you can see Such these intriguing bright regions. They reflect a great deal more sunlight than the rest of the surface material, but scientists haven't yet determined what it is about their composition or structure that's responsible. There are a number of different ideas about what they are, but to discover their real nature, we need to get more data from lower altitudes. Eventually, however, as we learn more about them, they may provide insights into the geology of this complex dwarf planet. This mountain is among the tallest features on Ceres, a cone that juts four miles high from an otherwise unremarkable area. It isn't in a crater or even obviously associated with one. So what forces shaped it? And why does it have this varying appearance, dark on one side, and now we're coming around to the other side and we can see these bright streaks running down one side? What does this structure tell us about how this world works? This is another of the captivating mysteries about Ceres. Now put on your 3D glasses and have another look. Let that go from there. We don't need to put on our 3D glasses, but I mean, it's pretty interesting how, I guess that was director Mark Raymond. He's uh, the the director of the the Dawn mission now. Sounds young. I'm not sure how old he is, but uh, what do you guys think about that kind of mysterious, the whole thing? You'd think that that would still be on their main drop down page. Not sure where it's gone or why it's uh, why it's changed. So another thing I want to talk about is a new website. Uh, well, not the new, so it's the same old website, but I've been adding a lot of stuff to it. And if you guys don't have a profile over yet, you're, you don't know what you're missing out on. We're getting all sorts of people talking in the forums. We've got, um, as we put up our articles, I've given access to about 20 people to add articles to here. And uh, they come in and go and add their articles when they want to. But what I've done now is I made it more, uh, more kind of like a interacting Facebook type deal. Where uh, you can make you basically for free. You set up your. It takes a couple of minutes to set up your own account, and then you can log on in. And I'm gonna show you what happens when you log in. Instead of uh, you know trying not to. Uh, there's only a couple of ads on here, uh, so I can try and at least get my <laughs> get my uh, ad basically get my server paid for each month. But uh, <laughs> it's Mars. Uh, and anomalies isn't the uh, isn't the biggest business to make money in for your for your cause, but there's been times where videos have gone viral that I've made enough for uh, you know to pay some hosting bills. But check this stuff out. You've also got a private messaging in here that we've got now. You can set up your own blog. You set update your profile. Um, you can add your own photos. A little bit of activity down here. You can read about what your form here as you can see your forum posts that go along with uh, that also from up here you can see if, if it's an author one of our authors you'll see that they got how many articles I've written 520 articles on here now um, blogs and we're looking for some more uh, writers people who want to write about UFOs people who want to write about Mars people who want to add pictures and write people who uh, really take this seriously and want to get their stuff out I'm trying to build something here that's off of Facebook and that we can all kind of have as a backup um, you never know when some Facebook might go down uh, and this is a good place to do it I, it's, it's definitely uh, it's definitely amazing how many people have finally. I think we got 580 people on here now. Of course, not not that many people are interacting, but I've also added uh, private chats, public chats. That's added. You can actually do video uh, calling down in this now. So I've really added a lot. And so if you're putting pictures up on uh, Facebook, or if you've got pictures that you wanna wanna share, you can make albums and stuff. Like let's check out one of our. Uh, one of our people who really have uh, come, I got, who's been online lately. There's a couple of good people. I've got a couple of things you guys won't see. Let's see, our buddy over here, Stefan. Um, Ron, he just logged in just recently, a couple of days ago. Already started putting good pictures on. The forums themselves have great people who are sharing stuff in there. They're taking, 
I mean, it's amazing. We've got amazing moderators. Check it out. You can see all his stuff. He's even got some, uh, his Pluto, his Comet Ison, his Cirrus. Here's a lot of his Mars stuff, High Rise. And you can just check it out, and you just click on the image. He's got three pages full of them already. If you want to download it for yourself, hit Original, and you can download it from there. Um, let's see there. There you go. Pops on up. It's pretty neat. A lot of this, like I said, I'm going to invest in a new server here soon. Like I said, we're getting uh, more and more people coming in. But even without, right now I'm logged in, so you'll see, you don't usually see the members thing where you can uh, submit links and other things to add to our links. You can add the forums. It's just a lot you can do when you sign up for it. So come help, sign, come help with the database. We want to get as many anomalies on this website as possible. So if, if, if we haven't covered it, we want it to be covered here. So people get lost on the website. The statistics are, are really amazing, the amount of hits that have uh, started going on. And the hits aren't just in our articles. They're in the forums. They're through the old photo. These photos, uh, a lot of these are old photo uh, just I've got uh, old collections I had, stuff I've got from torrent files. People are still finding stuff on these. The moon ones have hundreds of lunar orbiter things that uh, somebody had gone through and put out as a torrent file uploaded. So check it out. What's up in the sky .com. Sign up. It's easy to sign up. You can even sign up with Facebook and uh, stuff like that if you want to. But, all right. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was the new rover going out. Favored Mars 2020 rover landing sites. They want to be more towards the uh, the equator. They want it to be where it's a little bit hotter. So, I'm really kind of interested to see what engineers want sites at mid-latitudes for the higher year-round temperatures. So, sounds like it's going to be a little bit uh, just like... Just like Curiosity, they're going to send a couple of things they're taking out. They're slimming down some stuff. They're putting some new things in. Supposedly, it's going to have eyes and ears. They say that Curiosity now doesn't have audio on it. And I'm just so skeptical why they didn't put audio on it. Why would they send a rover up there without audio? Especially with all these cameras. I mean, and the computer power. It's not like it's it's a computer issue thing. I mean, come on. It, the I know audio takes bandwidth, but so does pictures, so does video, you know, all this stuff uh, it could be sent down over long periods of time. So, all right, guys, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to try on Saturday to, to, to actually, from my MiFi, uh, have the JamFest up on my page. So you might see it, you might not, I'm not sure if it's going to work. If you want to check it out, we'll just be jamming some cover songs and making up some songs and... Uh, talk it and have it on the radio. It's like, it's, like I said, it's just going to be a, uh, what I'll probably do is just set it up in the, uh, you know, on the computer in the back of the place somewhere, have it pointing towards where all the musicians hang out. Might be five of us, might be two of us, who even knows? So much love to you guys. What's up in the sky, 37. Hope you stuck with me to the end. I love you guys so much. You guys keep me going. Had another friend pass away this week. It was from, uh, from an overdose of drugs it's, it's just an epidemic here in america um in the last three months i've lost three of my good friends from back in school i hadn't talked to most of them for a really long time you know you catch up on facebook here and there but kids i played baseball with played sports with it's just really sad um but anyway this weekend we're going to be uh, celebrating uh, my buddy mikey's life and i hope you guys get to catch it if not I'll be back here making more anomaly videos next week. And believe me, I'm going to be pumped up. I've got a lot to get out because you guys, I'm going to start a new thing uh, from the mailbag where I'm going to start putting some of the emails I get on here and just answering some questions, some of the comments, funny comments, serious comments, and just looking for some new stuff to do with you guys. Because I sit here and go through these images and uh, sometimes I get a little bored with it. Sometimes it seems monotonous. But uh, you guys are stuck with me, so much love. Hope you have a good one, and take care. Peace. Oh, yeah, I got to do my peace. <laughs>